Now I'm versus Yami Yugi. I'm screwed right now. <coughs> he, beat, he beat me in rock, paper, scissors. He let me go first. Yami Yugi oh. let me go first. Why? Because Sakin gets to attack first. <coughs> well, he wants to see what I'm going to do first, isn't he? <coughs> yeah. Well, this will stop his defense, his uh, trap cards. It stops all trap cards. I'll play a defense with 2,000 defense points. Just to be safe. Then I'll sacrifice it for 3,000 defense next turn. Just playing two trap cards. Regeki. Yeah. So that way I can stop his traps in the next turn. It's not gonna stop his Regeki, but it'll stop his traps. What did he summon? Gemini Elf, wow, he's still in a powerful monster in the first try. I'm still winning though. Which is weird. I'll use that as a trap. He can't attack anyway with his trap <coughs> cards because I stopped him with Royal Decree. And I think it's what it's called. Summon another monster card. He's gonna attack with Alpha and destroy it and then I'll use it to destroy his his Gemini Elf. Alright, let's see what I got. Penguin Soldier. <coughs> I'll summon Axe Raider in attack mode. It'll probably activate a trap card. Nope. I wonder why he's not activating any traps. I know he can't, but it doesn't work. My traps negate it. Now I've got the lead. You know, you'd think if you act when you actually do deal damage to Yami Yugi, you actually feels like you uh, accomplished something when you got him playing defense. Even though it's a computer. Alright, I don't know what his card's gonna do. I'm gonna risk it and attack. The gate attempt won't work. Royal Decree stops it. Frick! It's a giant soldier of frickin' stone! I know how I'm gonna get rid of that card next turn. I'll put Penguin Soldier on the field and flip it up the next turn and s return both of those cards to his hand. Wait, he'll have three monsters by that time. Wait, no. Trap Hole. That'll come in handy if I lose Royal Decree. <coughs> Alright, so I'll play this face down. Alright, that'll enter battle phase. I'll attack his other defense. Risking it. Another giant soldier of stone? You only have one of those cards in his deck. <sighs> Alright, he didn't summon a monster. Alright, so I will summon one of mine. Flip over Penguin Soldier and return both of his cards to his hand. And then wipe out his life points. Oh wow, I'm beating Yugi. Yummy Yugi right here. 1700. I want to get the little guy attack to it. Turn to a chance. Uh, turn to a chance to attack. And this one wipe him out. <coughs> I beat you and Yugi. That was a lot easier than I thought it was. His best card is Dark Magician, no duh. The next one is... I don't know who this guy is. Hold on, I forget his name. It'll tell him... Millennium Golem, I forgot. That thing has 2200 attack points. <coughs> his name is Shadi. Shadi. 
Harpy's Feather Duster right away, now that's a good card. I can wipe out his face down cards. Good. One of them was Enchanted Javelin. This will deal damage to him by a thousand, but it'll also deal by five. Oh! What happened? What do you do? What's wrong with you? Ooh. <laughs> oh god. I'll play that face down. Oh god. Play that oh, face down man. for now. How can people laugh at that? Ah. Oh. And then I'll play this card. Shining Abyss. <coughs> what the heck? He's gonna make fun of him by doing it himself on exit. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Cyber Jar! They can't do it, but look at him. He's just like, wee. What the frick? <sighs> I'll show attack just to be safe. Oh, he's using a motor powered one. <laughs> he summoned that card. He summoned. Ugh, that has 2,000. He's drawing nothing but freaking monsters. I can still attack, but I know I'm not attacking the card that has the strongest defense. I'll attack this one because I know that one has no effect or a strong defense. Alright. Alright. I'll see the main phase 2. I'll increase my life points by 200. I'll end my turn. Oh, Gravekeeper Servant. What's that do again? You have that card in your deck. Oh, you can't attack unless you uh, sacrifice the or tribute the top card of your deck to the uh, graveyard. Crap. <coughs> I'm done now unless I summon something. Is he too good for you? No, he's just too good for you. Just your deck stinks, probably. I have to pay 500 life points to summon? What? Oh, chain... Chain something. What? He's regard... He's getting rid of my spell card. Uh. What is your spell card? Was, uh... Shallow Grave, it allows me to bring back a monster from my graveyard. It actually allows us both to bring a monster from our graveyard. I don't know why he'd get rid of it. It helps him out too. <coughs> he lost 200 life points again? <coughs> hmm. I wonder why he switched it. He could have ended me there, but he didn't. Hmm. Good, I can match his attack. Ugh. Then I can wipe him out the next turn by sacrificing it. <coughs> I'll sacrifice it and summon Labyrinth Wall. He lost. <coughs> he lost by s giving up his life points for a spell card he didn't need. What did he do? He, he killed himself. I'm versing Bakora in last. Regular Bakora. Regular Bakora <coughs> wasn't really a big good duelist compared to the new one. Or the... The Yami. crazy one. Yeah. The Yami Bakora. Wasn't Yami Bakora a bad guy at first? He was a bad guy through the entire... Always. But he was more of a super... He was more of a villain in the final season of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I thought he became a good guy. No, Yami Bakora never became a good guy. But wasn't Bakora a good guy? Bakora was a good guy. I placed Genie. Wasn't Merrick a good guy and like Yami Merrick a bad guy? Yami Merrick became. Yeah, Merrick was a good. was a bad guy. Then he became a good guy and Yami Merrick was bad. And then he, Yami Merrick became. er, Merrick became good for the rest of the series. He activated a spell card. 
Didn't matter, he was <coughs> on defense, he would have been in the string. <coughs> You're gonna attack? Well, I have a spell card. Or a trap card. Spellbinding Circle. I never understood you, you know, like, good guys being bad. I mean, is, like, Yami Yuki the only good Yami? Hmm, I guess so. God. Alright, I'm gonna. I'll summon this one. Metro Tibet Galliardizer. I don't even know how to pronounce it freaking. This is what it's. This was the name of it. It's. Metchenekachelachizer. I don't know. It's in a freaking. I can't understand. I can't pronounce it. Wow. I thought he was gonna defend. He didn't. I guess that's not a trap card then. I got him. Unless he doesn't summon anything in the. doesn't place anything in the trap zone. Then I know I got him. Yep. So I just gotta play Axe Raider in attack mode. Enter battle phase. Unless it's a strong defense. Nope. It only has a thousand attack points. One more attack and I should be able to win this match. After this attack, I only need one more attack. He only has 300 life points left, so any of my monsters could defeat him, even Karibo. So what do I got coming up? Alright. Crazy fish. Alright. Just to be safe, I'll have Mecha Chicken I like it as her attack his defense. <laughs> Let me see it. That thing? Yeah. Oh frick! I hit proceed to main phase two instead of attacking him. Wow, that was stupid of me. I gave him the I gave him a chance to come back. He didn't summon anything. Wow. I'm gonna attack him with this card. Spirit of the heart. Alright, I won. We don't need to hear you talk. I got Ibelisk and Ra one time, so I'm gonna get Slifer now. Wait, I already got Slifer once, so whatever. Oh, I got a new trap card. I might look at that later. Alright, so the next time I play this, I'll be versing Rex, Raptor, Weevil, and Mako.